morning, everybody. Well, I'm the first male speaker today as well. <laughs> well, to start with, a very well, warm welcome from Etihad Airways. I hope some of you had the journey with us and know the product that we're talking about. Uh, for those who haven't, please do try us and give us your feedback. Uh, today, the first, uh, my name is Yasser Al Yusuf. I manage the Etihad Guest, which is the loyalty program of the, uh, of the airline. Uh, and I'm a very proud uh, 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 partner of achieving the Abu Dhabi vision of 2030 through the industry of, of transport and uh, holidays business. Uh, the first thing when the team Nadim came to me and told me you will be the first presenter, I said, you better have the coffee done very well. And on my Insta story, I have a poll today saying, is the coffee good or bad? So if you follow me on uh, Elegant 788, please let me know if the coffee was really good or not. Uh, talking about future, and today we will be talking a lot about transformation, about how business needs to transform to sustain. And when talking about transformation, actually, uh, the word agile becomes like a magic word, and you will hear it a lot. It's a very common word. Now, uh, being agile is a challenge for companies like us, big companies, because our processes are huge, our number of employees are huge, and even talking to each other becomes challenging in a lot of places. So breaking silos is key for us. But this is where you, we depend on you guys, those small, medium enterprises, those startups who can really be agile and be able to provide us with the services we need while we are shifting things and trying to, to transform. So it will be very interesting to see how big companies can work in the future with SMEs to provide this transformation and not have big, even bigger consultants to help us with transformation. Uh, talking about the, the airline industry, of course, people would have expected me to talk about the future of the planes and how they will become smarter, how they will become bigger, faster. But for me, I think plane is a plane. It's a medium to travel. And no matter how much is, is the plane sophisticated or big, and at the end, you want to reach to that journey and start the journey. It's not, it's not the way you travel there. Uh, as airliners, where transformation is really, really important for us, is to look at the whole end-to-end -end journey from your eyes. It's the customers that we need to uh, ensure that are getting the futuristic experience. When talking about that, I'm talking about the future of airports, the future of check-in. How many of us really panic when going to the airport? Will I make it to the plane? Will the queue be big? In a, a big? Will I need to go through clearance? Will they strip? all, everything, and make me walk naked there. These are things that come into our mind. And I know, for example, my wife drags the hell out of me. We have to be there four hours in advance just in case. What if in the future and in the near future, and I know Dubai Airport is starting working on that, you just walk in into the airport and the airport recognizes you, checks you in. What if our luggage is so smart that it scans itself knows where it needs to go and knows when it needs to come out. This is the future. This is where we talk about the experience of travel for people. And this is where it's innovation, it's smaller companies that can help us to achieve, not the big large companies, because our job is to transfer you from point A to B in a safe environment, because for us, safety is number one. Now, again, talking about loyalty programs, as frequent flyers, we do want to be part of a club. And we, as customers, voluntarily give uh, the airline or the hotel or the industry information and data about us. Now, typical loyalty companies would take your email address, blast you with emails about offers to Australia, to New York, wherever they need some more push on that route. But that's not why you join a loyalty program. And this is where we need to transform. 
using things like big data, like artificial intelligence, is where we need to go ahead with using our data. Using digital moments, and when I speak about digital moments, is all the things you post on your social account. Because that has big value for, for people. I would only know when you are planning to travel in a normal way is when you start booking or you start searching for a flight. But actually, if you on Facebook start looking at London as a destination or you have this tweet saying planning to go to London for this event, that's when actually before even searching for a flight, I can send you an offer saying, hey, here is an offer, cool offer to London. Why don't you fly with us? And that will be wow, because not, we gave you the, not that we used the information you gave us, but we actually looked for more information that's publicly available and helped to do an offer for you. Go on the old days where one size fits all. Not everyone wants to travel to Sydney. Not everyone wants to go on the 380 business class. People, want, people have different interests. If we, I speak to people here, everyone would have a different dream destination that they want to go to. So it's how, to, how do you bring these things together using data, using your, your, what people give you as, uh, as information. Uh, and this is where it becomes our role to ensure that you give us a bit of data, we ensure that we give you the best out of the data you give us and help you towards your journey. Now, talking about SMEs, we have relaunched this month the SME program, Business Connect, which my colleagues outside will be able to give you more information. But Business Connect is our, uh, part of our vision to support the SME sector by giving them ways to achieve more rewards, get more points while they're traveling for business. Now, this, it's, it's the, the value of these points is it's much interesting, whether you are an individual or a company, to, sa to save on this ticket fly, uh, or the flights that you take and spend that money actually in, the, in your destination, or whether it's on leisure, whether it's on business. What's even uh, cooler is you can buy your uh, office supplies from our reward shop using the points you earned while your business is traveling. And that's not the only one. We are the only airline program that you can join as an individual as well as a company and earn miles in both accounts. So as an Etihad guest member, you get your points. As a company account, the company gets the point. And it's, you get 100% of the points. We don't deduct any. So you get the benefits of both worlds. And uh, just speaking about Etihad guest, while I'm talking, probably some of you would start receiving emails asking you to inv uh, or inviting you to join the program. If you join the program today or if you are an existing uh, Tihad guest member and interact with your account, you get a chance to win 10,000 Tihad guest miles from us just as a, as a start because we do believe in you and your business. So the big question that comes to us uh, as, as the things like artificial intelligence, as the industry grows in technology, does the human, uh, does the human uh, uh, part get eliminated in this sector? We're talking about a sector that massively is mass marketing that takes people on these huge, big airplanes and then transfer them. Do we need people? From my point, I think how cool would it be for people to be able to, using the data they have, an automatic itinerary of travel is created. That itinerary is then pre presented to you in a virtual reality where you can actually walk into what you are going to get. So you can walk into that hotel room. You can walk into that event and see. You can book your seat looking at it 360 degrees. And we have an example outside of virtual reality to sh show you how can you select seats using VR. That would be really cool and you don't need a human uh, interaction in that. What's even nicer is by the time you tweet, I'm sick today, someone or, or a technology will come saying, do you want us to cancel your dinner tonight since you are sick? And this is where we can have the best use of technology. However, if we give you all that technology on a virtual reality as a customer, would you not travel? 
and I'll pose this question to music fans, to sports fans, to art fans. Will you want to watch everything on a digital platform at home, or do you want to be still part of the crowd? So I think it's the ways that we can help you to travel, but as human beings, we will not stop traveling. And actually, as you get more of this technology and the ease of travel, you would travel more. And as Gina said, if you get unlimited holidays, the more you can travel, which is great. So people will still travel. The other question I want to pose to you, as a customer, would you be safe or feel safe to fly on an aircraft that has no humans? The captains are electronics, the flight attendants are uh, robots. Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's the art of where can you automate stuff versus where can you put more human interaction. And that's if we are smart enough to know where can you automate such stuff and such experiences and you drive your people there, that, that's, that's, that's where you succeed. Now we know things like, as technology comes, uh, do, there are jobs that do get redundant. We know like in US, in the airline sector, with technology, around 38% of human interaction or jobs that were done by humans have been eliminated. But that creates other jobs for people. So we as humans will always survive and find other ways to, 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 to live and to, to work because it's, in, in, it's built in us. We want to do something. We don't want to just sit there and be looking at our mobiles the whole day. At the end, we are humans. We do want to interact. So this, this is um, my, my view in the, for the airline sector in the future. Uh, I think that there will be more uh, artificial intelligence, big data coming in, the, in defining or designing the way we interact. Just talk to, uh, let me talk to you from, from my experience. When I started managing the Tehad program five years ago, we used to run our emails, uh, the, the statements you get on your emails, maximum in three versions, and that would take seven days to design. Today, we're running in few hours, 50 versions of the emails. My future next year is 1,000 versions of the same emails because not every single person has the same interest. Not every single person has the same way of interacting with us. Now, I know that some people talk about 50 and 70,000 versions. We have 6 million members. Of course, well, even 1,000 is not enough. But this is the way we go forward, and we cannot do that just with human uh, working on these things. You still need some intelligence behind that to help you. But again, choosing the pictures, computers won't do that. Being close to your clients, speaking to them, understanding what their wants and needs are, is not what customers need. So that summarizes my, my um, view on the airline industry, and I'll be available today to take any questions to have further chats with you. Thank you very much.